Hello everyone. Hi. I'm the rum. And I'm the wine. So we're here today for an episode which I'm going to quite enjoy. I'm going to title this all about the incredulous things that Austrians do. They've committed what I would probably say is a tragedy, a travesty <laughs> even. So I apologize to my wife and all Austrians, but how they did not know, how they do not know about what is probably the most popular movie in existence. Okay, I'm reaching now. Yes, they don't know about the Sound of Music. Yeah, we, we don't know. It's just people in Austria haven't heard for, about it. Hi, I'm Julia, the wine. Hi, I'm Samora, the rum. We met in London, fell in love, and moved to Ireland. We share tips on being an expat, travel, cultural experiences, and living life efficiently. So, the question on everyone's minds is, but how? <laughs> Quite simple, really. It never had a theatrical... It never had a theatrical release in Austria at all. People just assumed the movie wouldn't be popular because it dealt with themes from the Second World War. People assumed it'd still be too fresh, too close to home, so they were like, we're not even gonna bother showing it in cinemas. It's like, it's a lost cause. And then it never really showed on TV either. I guess it was pretty expensive to air because it was such a popular movie. So people were like, well, we're not gonna bother with that if you don't know if people even like it. And it continued like that. We have heard of the family von Trapp though. There is actually German speaking movies about them. Those ones are new. I just didn't know the American version, <laughs> which is the most famous one. So let's tell the people, how did you eventually find out about it? So my f suspicions that there was something I didn't know about Austria that was going on were first aroused when we went to Kingston in London to study there for a master's. And you know, first day you're talking about like where you're from and it was a very international place. So people ask me where I'm from and I'm from Austria. And I was expecting, ah, Mozart or whatever. And everyone kept asking me about the sound of music, if it's really liking the sound of music and if I like the sound of music. And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Especially the American people, they all like looked around and were like, oh, what do you mean you don't know the sound of music? And I'm like, yeah, obviously I don't I don't know. Like what why what is this? Why is everyone getting so excited about this? So then I figured I'll probably Google this when I go home. But instead I met this guy and ended up Googling about Barbados. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it again. And that's where I come in <laughs> once again. I had to do my civic duty and introduce the wine to a classic. A classic known across the world. Except Austria. Does Austria not exist then? <laughs> I don't know. These are questions. So, pretty much, I know Sound of Music because I remember watching it at my grandparents' house as well as my own house several times. I can't remember when it was the first time I watched it. But I even remember my mom talking about this movie that they watched going to theaters when they were kids. It doesn't matter if you were born in Trinidad or Barbados. If you were alive during the 60s, you went to watch this movie in theatres. It's so much that there are people that walk among us that have the names of characters born around that time. Such a classic. I had to do my duty and introduce her. And hope that it was still as good as I remembered it from childhood. Was it? That's what we're about to find out. Hmm. Yes, she's not gonna blaspheme. Don't worry, people. I hope <laughs> not. Not too much. <laughs> anyway, I have to admit it's it's a long movie. It's very long. It felt like we were there for an afternoon. Thank God we had food prepared. Yeah, it's not weird. Like all the longest, like you know, award-winning movies are just long unnecessarily. I don't know. Here's the thing. Anyways. Tell us about the movie. What did you think? There, there's just this one part I can't get over it. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the movie, if you're a fellow Austrian watching this, maybe you, you want to listen away for 10 seconds. In the end, when they decide to escape by walking over the Alps. Now, I don't know if you've ever, people who wrote this or composed this or whatever, Googled, well, Google wasn't around, looked up in a 
whatever atlas you had lying around how high the Alps are but they're pretty high like if you've ever seen a mountain in real life you're not gonna <laughs> just be like you know what we'll walk across this mountain range with a bunch of kids and no food and no shelter that sounds like a grand idea that'll work I'll admit not until she pointed this out that I realized how ridiculous it was but hey it's movies it's Hollywood isn't it yeah, I guess you gotta do whatever to survive, but it's a price that all of them survived. But again, I guess the movie is open-ended, so you never know. They might have gotten by, eaten by wolves on the way. So yes, I know that the story of the show might not have been up to par and standard. But I mean, it is based on a true story. It's just the walk across the Alps that I find a bit unbelievable. Yes, but what's awesome is the music. What did you think about the music? Well, I'm not gonna go as far <laughs> as one music critic apparently did in a, in a review of it because Austrians love to now watch it and hate it. No offense. And he said Edelweiss was an insult to any music in Austria ever created. I wouldn't go that far, but I do get <laughs> quite confused when people in the US or wherever Sorry, I'm picking on the US, but that's usually people from the US tell me about the sound of music. I find it quite ridiculous that people believe that Edelweiss is like the national anthem of Austria or whatever. We haven't even heard about it at any sporting event ever. I know we usually don't qualify that far into anything unless it's ski jumping or skiing, but like, have you anyone ever heard sing Edelweiss? <laughs> I just... can ask that question. No, no. no. How about the favourite song of everybody? A few of your favourite things. It's not one of my favourite things. Because <laughs> of one line. I'm like, you had one job, whoever wrote this musical. You just needed one Austrian person there to like help you with some of the details. And I know it's hard to make stuff rhyme. But you, you went too far. Schnitzel and noodles? No. Why would you eat schnitzel with noodles? It's just dry upon... Dry it, you eat schnitzel with salad or some potato, form it, something, but not noodles, that's just boring. As the non German speaker, when this line came on, her face like distorted into like utter disgust. She's like, What? And I'm like, What? Whatever schnitzel with noodles must be. Like, until I saw what schnitzel actually was, and um, yeah, quite understandable, quite understandable. Even though at the end of it the movie wasn't Julia's favourite thing, I was still gifted with a trip to Salzburg where they made the movie during my first time to Austria. Few highlights of the trip, cause I wasn't making YouTube back then so there's not a lot of video, but it's coming up cause this summer, return to Salzburg and yeah, we're, we're doing all the Sound of Music stuff. I'm. No, doubly not all as of excited. It. All of it! <laughs> yes! Do, 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 do. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to torture her. It's like, I'll like just lose the lad in Austria, go to the fields, and be like, the hills! <laughs> we'll probably go to that matter, yeah. But I, I have to admit, the only people who probably know about the sound of music is the people who live in the area where they shot it, because they eventually had to wonder why people kept doing that. <laughs> and had to ask someone to explain. Uh, yeah, but Salzburg, beautiful city. I saw some of the places, pretty cool. The only really odd thing is that the place with the... What's it called? Pavilion? Yes, let's call it that. I think that's it. Yeah, where they sang the song I am 16 going on 17. Yeah, that they had to have a replica of it because people were just doing nonsense, I guess. And the actual place you can't actually go inside. So that was a quite bored experience. I guess everyone just wanted to be like, make poses, but. Yeah, it's can't actually. Do that. You can see how much value Austrians place in it. It's outside a sort of former palace, just there, almost like in the car park. All alone. Like Travis all alone in the corner, day. like you think, oh, a random thing that they just parked there in the corner unless you have someone with you who can explain to you that this is the famous pavilion. What can you do? What can you do? Ich weiß nicht. 
So did we just shatter your world for you? Is there other stereotypes or preconceived notions you have about Austria? Let us know in the comments and we'll destroy them in the next video. Or maybe prove them to be true. Who knows? Yes, and with that, thanks. Uh, now that I've saved the world, at least one more Austrian has watched The Sound of Music. That's where <laughs> we end off today. Just 80 million more to go. Yeah. So, if you're one of those people who haven't watched The Sound of Music, Maybe you enjoyed watching our video and would like to subscribe, like, comment. If you watched the movie, if you're watching that love the movie, let you know, us know, let us know because that would be very surprising. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Tell us what you like it. What's your favorite song? How did you find out about it? I'm getting way too excited over this. Yeah, Sam out. Why not? Fish beta. <laughs> I'm out of here. Let's go watch the sound of music. <laughs> no.